Great if there's name. still any doubt in your mind, okay, <laughs> you have to listen to this story because this is where it really shows you that you, the business owner, are dog Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Business Newsroom. I am your host, Neil Winteregg, and I am joined today by my dad, Dr. Greg Winteregg. Welcome back to the newsroom. Happy the to be here. last couple of newsrooms, you weren't here, and I had to, I had to have a stand-in. <laughs> so, Did you miss me? Uh, yeah. So this is going to be fun today. So right. uh, we're going to try and keep this as short as possible, so don't click off yet, all right? But <laughs> last night, I watched the documentary Billion Dollar Bully. A lot has been being said about this. This was a documentary I found out about six months or so ago. It's been in production for over three years. Wow. Um, it was one of the things I heard about when I started doing my initial Yelp video that we posted a few months ago. Right. And the only reason I realized that Billion Dollar Bully was that was I saw that video start jumping all of a sudden in views for no reason. Oh, then you did And I was research. like, oh, wait, Billion Dollar Bully is out. And uh, actually, Abby reminded me about it. So I watched <laughs> it last night. And? And uh, I started to take a note or two or three wow. or four as I was watching it of all sorts of different things that are happening. So uh, very interesting, and I want to go over some of my notes here and get kind of your take or your reaction. Which, okay. First off, if you are a business owner of any kind, you need to watch the documentary. Uh, you need to understand exactly how Yelp operates and what they do. It goes into what their advertising is and does. There's a social media marketer who's in there who's actually analyzing the advertising that they're that you're paying for, mm -hmm. and it doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, so it, they actually break it down for you. So I do suggest you watch it and take your own viewpoint. But here's some interesting things that I found. Okay. okay. So first off, businesses can't opt into a listing, and you can't take your listing down. So if you open a restaurant or you have a business, mm -hmm. and you aren't in the database, one of your customers can actually add you into the database. Okay and you are now stuck. Okay? You can't get out. You can't get out. So as soon as you are added, either by a user or somebody at Yelp who finds it and creates it or okay. whatever, you are immediately locked into Yelp that will never be taken down, okay? okay? So you have no ability to play or not play their game. You are automatically playing their game. Hmm. If, and it's not done on your own choice. No, it's not done on your own choice. Okay. If you have false information on your Yelp listing, uh, somebody posts the wrong address, the wrong phone number, the wrong whatever, and you want to change it, you have to agree to the Yelp Terms of Services. So after you agree to the Yelp Terms of Services, you're not allowed to sue them. That is actually one of the things. Wow. So you are opted in, and by changing it, you're saying, this is me, this is my business, you're now playing their game even more. So wow. that's not good. Now, before they launched their IPO, um, it was a fun place. They interviewed some people. And just, just so everybody knows, their stock, I, their IPO, IPO means their initial, initial public, public offering, offering, right? Yep. That was in 2013. They okay. interviewed one of the sales reps that worked there before and after, and she said as soon as the IPO launched, the entire mood changed hmm. because now it's not about our company, it's about the stockholders. Right. And so all of a sudden, the games and the marketing and the ads and all that stuff really took off, okay? But Jordan, now the mood changed. In the, the company. For the worst. Yes. Because a now dark cloud was hanging over A dark everything. cloud. Yes. Now it's about the shareholders, the stockholders. Yes. We have to make them happy. Yeah. It's not a company anymore. Right. It's, it's a corporation. It's, it's yep. a totally different thing, right? Got it. Um, so the culture changed. Culture completely changed. Then that's when um, People started becoming more and more aware of the fact that the reviews were getting filtered. Mm -hmm. We've talked about this in the other view. Yep. Any business that you go to on Yelp has reviews that you can see that make up the star rating and the, uh, the overall rating of that company. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, there'll be a tab that says unrecommended reviews or not recommended reviews. If you click on that, extra reviews that have been filtered, quote unquote, mm -hmm. um, are now available to be seen, and that is not taken into account for the overall thing. For the overall rating. Correct, but what happens is, is that business owners keep saying that as soon as they start getting phone calls to advertise on Yelp, and they all of a sudden say, I don't wanna advertise with you, as soon as you give them a definitive, I'm not doing this with you, mm -hmm. overnight they started noticing that all these unfiltered reviews that were in one stars started showing up. Hmm. So all of a sudden, things that were hidden are now appearing. In some cases, they started receiving, people started receiving one-star reviews that were false. 
Wow. One guy got 16 overnight, saying that the steak and the special sauce were no good. He doesn't serve steak. Oh, wow. Now, so then that kind of leads you to believe is Yelp actually creating correct. a bad review. Which is where the bullying and the extortion and all this stuff comes in. This is gross. Now, one guy from Italy who opens the, the, the thing off. Op opens the documentary. Opens the documentary up who has a pizza place. Yeah. Says, uh, you know, in Italy, you open a restaurant and somebody comes up to you and says, uh, you know, you have a beautiful restaurant here. Mm -hmm. And they leave. Yeah. And then they come back a few days later and go, uh, you know, we could do a lot of good for you. We could send you a lot of business. We wouldn't want anything to happen to this place. And then they leave. And if at that point in time, you don't start offering to give them money, you find your car burned down, you find your wow. window kicked in, and all this kind of stuff. And he says, that that's what the mafia does, that's what extortion right. is. Well, there's multiple accounts of this being the way that Yelp operates. And what people are finding is that all of a sudden, reviews start disappearing that are five stars. They start going into the non-recommended section. So overnight, your rating drops because these five-star reviews. So they take the five stars and put them in the not recommended. Right, but the problem is, is that Yelp says that it's not intentional, it's just that their algorithm sorts out unrecommended reviews by a proprietary algorithm blah, blah, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. blah. Now, they say 33% of their reviews are filtered. So in one instance, yeah. the owner of Allied Outdoor Solutions in Texas, they're okay. a, a construction company. Okay. They have only one third of all of the reviews that have been gathered on Yelp. Yep. Only one third are actually showing as recommended reviews, Got which it. means two thirds are hidden. And so it looks like they have like a three star review hmm. total. Total. Because all of their five star reviews or all their good reviews are hidden. But the thing is, is Yelp says that with their algorithm, they only filter about one third out, hmm. which is not making sense if right. he has only one third of his that are actually showing. So it appears like they're lying. And in one case, the same guy called Yelp, mm -hmm. complained about this, mm -hmm. and they said, well, what you can do is you can get somebody who left you a one-star review to actually change their review. If you can work with them and they go in and they change their review, mm -hmm. then it will be a positive. So he called somebody who they had no contact with, found out why they had a one-star review. The person went back, changed it, to a four-star review, okay, and then the next day that was then filtered. Wow. So there's all of these things that just keep happening, and the thing that really this is mafia. This is exactly what the mafia does. Now this here's mafia. the thing: Yelp did this to themselves by creating this like algorithm that quote unquote doesn't recommend certain reviews. Did they say why they need that? They say that it's because um, it keeps, they have some stupid thing. I'm oh. not even gonna get into it. Okay. This guy's review is worth more than that guy's review and we don't want fake reviews being on there and all this other BS, right? Okay, got it. Now, what I thought was interesting is that as multiple, multiple things are, are coming in. I mean, here's, here's another one. Um, one guy, he's got some dog sitting, dog sitting company called Fido's in New York. So, um, one of his cu customers, he says, listen, you know, we're getting really hit up, hit, hit by Yelp. And she, she goes and she leaves a five-star review and she's so happy because she loves this dog sitting place. Yeah. Everything was great. And the next day it was filtered hmm. to the non-recommended. So he called her and when she opens her app, it shows her review is still there. Wow. So, <laughs> so it's gross. like, this is manipulation of some kind is occurring and Yelp won't take any actual responsibility for anything that occurs. Well, if, the, I, if I watch the documentary and yeah. I own Yelp stock, I'm selling it today. Well, that's the interesting thing is their stock is plummeting. Now, I don't know if it's Deservedly connected so. to this, well, but here's what's even gross. more interesting. This is it gross. Let's hear about from, from somebody from the company. Yeah. The vice president, the senior vice president of corporate communications, a guy named Vince Salito. Okay. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. They have several interviews of him kind of trying to defend the company. So he is on a radio show and somebody's asking him these, like how come people right. will turn down your advertising and then 24 hours later, all this stuff starts happening to them. Yep. Because what happens is, is that the Yelp salesperson calls in and says, hey, you're doing really good on Yelp. You should advertise with us. And they say no. But then the person realizes that they are doing really good on Yelp. And so to try and get more five-star reviews, they call all their friends to leave them five-star reviews. And so they just automatically take those down. 
So what he's saying is that we're not doing anything, it's that you're doing something wrong. Right. They're anyway, taking no responsibility. Zero responsibility whatsoever. Now, right. here's another really gross, <laughs> another really gross, I, this is just crazy, okay? This is like, okay, if you're not convinced that they're assholes, yeah, okay, listen to this. If there's still any doubt, there if remains. If there's still any doubt in your mind, okay, you have to listen to this story because this is where it really shows you that you, the business owner, are dog shit, okay? okay. So the owner of a high-end piano company, okay. okay, I don't remember what city he's in, okay, mm -hmm. I was taking so many notes. This guy sells high-end pianos. You and I know a high-end piano is 20, 30, 40, 50,000. Plus, okay. yeah. Okay, that cheap, 20,000 is cheap, right? right? So he has a business in a strip mall and a new store comes into this strip mall, like a ski shop, a ski and skate shop, something like that. And all of a sudden, this strip mall is really busy and there's nowhere for people to park. And he's a by appointment only place. Okay. So he talks to his landlord and the landlord says, hey, how many parking spots do you need? We'll reserve a couple for you. He said, I just need one. Yeah. So that when I have a customer coming in to buy one yeah. of my pianos, they can pull in. So they have a picture of the sign. It's a big sign. It says, you know, blah, 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 parking only. Yeah. You will be towed. Yeah. People still kept parking in this spot. Okay. So he calls the landlord and the landlord says, listen, we got to start towing people. Okay. So they towed four cars. Okay. For parking in a spot that said reserve parking only. Yeah. Okay. Those people who got towed left him one star reviews on Yelp. And when he called Yelp, they said there's nothing that they could do because it's freedom of speech. Wow. This is absolute insanity. This is crazy. It's absolute insanity. And I mean, it just keeps going. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. Now they hide behind, they hide behind the fact that the FTC has never actually brought charges to them, that it's been taken to court twice. But basically they interview a guy who works for the Federal Trade Commission, mm -hmm. who says that normally action is brought against a company when they receive about five complaints. Mm -hmm. Five complaints is a lot of complaints, he said. Mm -hmm. They've had over 2,000 that led to these FTC reviews. And basically the wording of the court documents is that we know there's stuff going on, but the way that it's being brought and the way it's being talked about there's no way that they can do anything with it, basically. It's really So then what's, stuff. what's the solution for a business owner here? Okay. Is there any conclusion in the, in the, the documentary? The conclusion is never pay them any money because they say if you start paying them money and then you try and quit, mm -hmm. it's even worse, okay. the treatment that you receive. Okay. okay. But the point of the matter is, is, I mean, we talked about this in the other two Yelp review videos. Mm -hmm. You can only just try and keep getting positive reviews, yep. but focus on Google, focus on other areas that actually worry about you, the business owner. Here's the yep. thing. At some point, Yelp became more about um, marketing mm -hmm. and advertising than it did about being an online review platform. Right. And so it has completely changed. The purpose switched. The purpose has completely switched. Yep. And in this 85 minute documentary, it really walks you through all of that very interestingly. Now there isn't really a solution that is offered in it. I mm. mean, the only solution I can think of is everybody just has to start boycotting them mm. as a business owner, just stop paying them money and, and let all the millennials and all the people who use Yelp use Yelp and just who cares, mm -hmm. right? And I went over this in our second video on Yelp that we did, there'll be some links posted where it's just like, forget about it. Um, Yelp is not there to destroy your business necessarily. Like you can't blame Yelp for your business closing. There's other problems that are going on in your business. Right. And they interviewed one or two people who, you know, teary eyed and said Yelp destroyed them. And I really doubt that, but. You're not buying into that. I'm not buying into that per but se. But it can create some bad effects. Very much so. I mean, yeah. you can lose a lot of money. Yeah. But here's what I would say. Um, go to Google, go mm -hmm. to other platforms. Google has, none of this weirdness behind it. Google is 100% transparent with their um, reviews. Yeah. You get to see all of the reviews, good and bad, mm -hmm. and Google will actually take down a review for inflammatory language, inflammatory things. I mean, there was examples in here about how it says Yelp removes reviews that are inflammatory, and then they started reading off reviews that, that Yelp had said were fine, that were yeah. absolutely horrendous, disgusting. Wow. And they don't care. So they became more about ads and that revenue than mm -hmm. they are about actually taking care of the business owner. Right. And uh, one guy said 85% of their revenue comes from small business, wow. which means they're just destroying American businesses. Right. And it's disgusting. Yep. So if you haven't watched it, I definitely recommend everybody watch it. It was $3.99 on Amazon. I rented it. It was on Amazon, YouTube, and Google Play Store. 
Uh, go check it out if you're a business owner, you need to watch it. So then, uh, before we carry on too long, <laughs> I know we're like, um, this is just modern day mafia. It is complete it's mafia. It's digital internet mafia. Yeah, and there's no real laws against it from a digital world. Wow. That's the thing is that the digital world has advanced so fast the laws of the country are 20 years behind, right. and there's all these loopholes that people can just get into, mm -hmm. and this has been going on for five, six years now, and mm -hmm. nobody can really do anything about it unless we just stop giving Yelp credit. Yeah. So here's what I thought of really quickly, folks, before you leave. <laughs> What's the next step? Right. Here's what I would do. I would create a, a new service. Yeah. Uh, let's not call it Yelp, because it's not Yelp, but a, a review service. Yep. Let's say I want to know all the best restaurants and I want to know all the best everythings. I, as a consumer, pay five or ten dollars a month mm -hmm. to have access to a private online resource mm -hmm. of other businesses and other people that pay to play mm -hmm. the game. Oh, nice! Because if I, if it's that worth, if it's worth it that much to me to know right. what plumber to use, what restaurant to go to, who yeah. actually serves the best food, then I want to be in an arena where everybody's paying to to have the same knowledge, right. and the restaurants can opt in and say, "I want to be a part of your platform," mm -hmm. and I want to, and it's still advertising. Yeah. That's like them advertising. So, so the vendor can opt in, and then the public has to pay a fee, also. Correct. So it's kind of like a membership site. Yes. And people that is are, the only way to keep it clean and to keep it pure. And so if somebody wants to be a jerk, it's going to cost them $5 a month to be a jerk. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And truthfully, if a guy was just a jerk, everybody would probably know that he was a jerk anyway. Mm -hmm. And he'd probably cry right. and go back to Yelp. <laughs> so I think it I like your solution. <laughs> <laughs> That's really the only thing I yeah. can think of is like, like a Google Premiere. For reviews, yeah. I pay to be a part of this Google Premiere, and the restaurant pays to be a part of Google Premiere. Mm -hmm. And, and I it's can honest, see it's transparent. It's honest and it's transparent, and I am paying to have the honesty and the transparency. Yeah, I think that sounds and like a great idea. And I can pull up my map and hit my Google Premiere button, and only Premiere restaurants and services around me are mm -hmm. going to show up, and I can kind of guess that I'm going to be getting a better service or I'm gonna see reviews only from other Premier people. Now, if somebody watching the video takes your idea and I makes a billion dollars, you want your cut, right? I get 10%. Neil wants his VIG. That's only 10%, <laughs> that's all I need. <laughs> this has been a great eye-opening, eye-opening Yeah, video. and now, like I said, awesome. that's not even all of my notes, because this yeah. would be like an hour-long video. I mean, it's already like 19 minutes. I don't even yeah. know how we got into all that. but. Just the amount of information that's out yep. there, and until people stop buying into it and granting Yelp all of this importance, yeah. it's going to ruin you. Yeah. It, don't grant it any importance yeah. anymore. Ignore it. And there is a guy in there who started paying people, basically, to leave one-star reviews on Yelp just to give them the middle finger, mm -hmm. and they hated it. <laughs> they told him he had to stop asking people for one-star reviews. <laughs> Well, if he asked for a five-star review, they hide it. Yes. So then he just started asking for one-star reviews. Yes, because then he had a one-star rating whether he paid them or not, and it drove them insane. <laughs> Hilarious stuff. I like that attitude. Hilarious I stuff. I like that. Anyway, I hope that, this, that you found this useful. This went longer than I thought it would, but if you have not seen the documentary Billion Dollar Bully, you need to go and check it out. And um, I really do hope that um, something changes as a result of this documentary. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but Yelp needs to uh, stop treating people like garbage. Yep. They're destroying American businesses, and we have a problem with that here at Matt yep. Business Development. We're trying to make selling great again, and That's right. uh, these guys are ruining it. So exactly. <laughs> if you need any mentoring help or you have more questions about us or you need help, please get in contact with us. We have all sorts of programs available. Our new sales course is coming out probably yep. right about the time Very exciting. this video comes out, how to yep. control your income. Um, we just got feedback on that. It's, yep. It's going to be awesome. Yep. And we want to help you with your business. And also, be sure you check the other two videos that I did do on Yelp uh, about four or five months ago about how to actually overcome all this stuff. And uh, be sure that you watch all that. And uh, I hope that this helps you. And don't forget to subscribe. Yes. We just passed a milestone. We hit 201 subscribers today. Not bad. I mean, we really just started making content in the last six months, really. Yep, we're doing all right. So it's all right. But hey, <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. All right.